Hi, and welcome to another day of Python programming. Today, your challenge is to make a UI that has a couple of buttons, and one of the buttons will quit the program, and another button will write something to the debugger or to the idle. All right, so let's give that a go. Now open idle. Now if you have no idea, that's OK, let's do it together. Create a new file. All right, we import tk enter as tk again. All right, now we to create our view, we do this. Just going to do it in steps. And to finish the view, so all the stuff that we want to happen in the view, uh, keep in this main loop. So view dot main loop and do everything in here. All right, so now we're going to use a different way to pack the the buttons. We're going to use like a alignment to pack them. So let's have a look at how to do that. Now first we need a frame equals tk dot frame and we're going to put use the view in that frame and then frame dot pack. All right, let's create our first button that's going to end the program equals tk dot button and we'll use the frame set the text to exit, if you like. And let's, let's set the color to FG equals red. And the command, which is built into Python, is just quit. This will quit it. As you see, it turned purple. Okay, and now, now to pack the button, pattern button.pack, then inside here, we choose what side to pack it to, or push it to. So we're going to go tk dot, and all capital letters, left. All right, so that's our first one. And then let's create our action button. I'm just going to copy all that, actually, just for fun. Well, just for ease. Okay, and this one's going to be say hello. And we'll set it to black. It'd probably be default anyways, black, but... And our command will be to do something. So we want it to print. So let's create our function to print. Uh, say hello. And then print. G'day, mate. There we go. And that will be our command for that one. And it's already packed. It's in the main loop. Fingers crossed, let's build it and see how it goes. So we'll call this uh, f packing to frame, I guess, or All right, so we've got an exit button. I'm just going to say hello. There we go. So every time we do that, it'll write to our idle program and exit. Do you really want to kill it? Go OK, and that closes it. Excellent. Well, good luck uh, with that. You know, try. let's try something, actually. I'm going to pack this to the right and see what it does. Just experiment with your code, see what happens. Didn't really do anything, did it? Um, yeah, that didn't really do anything at all. Anyways, uh, but basically what the left does, it, it 
like if there was more things in there, let's try adding something else in there. And let's see what happens. So I'm just going to add another button. Um, actually, let's actually, what I should have done, okay, this is why. Let's set this to button two. Let's see what that does. So it worked okay, that was quite good, even though I had it named as another button. Uh, still, still does, doesn't do anything. Uh, all right, now let's add another button. Go left. Button three. All right, run again. Mm. Can't really see anything going on there, isn't it? Let's. What other? Let's go top. Go call it top. Five. I don't know if there is a top actually. Top. Well, that's interesting. So let's put it in the middle there. And let's try right. Keep this still left. All right, so I pushed it to the right. And let's try pushing it to the left. And this one to the right. Now I'm hoping that the say hello will be on the far right. Yep. All right, so that's how to probably align things in one line. Uh, later we'll have a look at how to align things with grid. It's quite interesting. Anyway, so have a good one. Hope you enjoyed that. See ya.